Hollywood's idea of a computer program is one that contains lots of zeros and ones on a green glowing computer screen where the zeros and ones represent binary code. I'm Hugh and in this lesson I'll explain binary numbers, what they are and why they're important. In a previous lesson I said that each data type in computing can have a value within a specific range. For example, in the C language, an int, that's a simple integer, has a range that goes from negative 21474836482147483647. to positive 21474836647. While a char, a character, has a range from negative 128 to positive 127. If I try to assign a higher value than the highest value supported by a data type, then the value wraps around to its lowest possible value. If you're not familiar with that idea, be sure to watch the lesson in which I explain the problem of positive numbers that suddenly become negative. Now, in order to understand why data types have specific ranges of values and what happens when they wrap around into negative values, it's helpful to look at the binary representation of the data. This code converts a decimal value to its binary representation. If you can't figure out how it does that, don't worry, because I'll explain all that in detail in a later lesson. For now, you just have to take my word for it that when I plug in a decimal value like 90, it spits out its binary representation. Here that would be 01011010. If you want to double check my result, you can use a programmer's calculator like the Windows calculator in programmer's mode and you'll see the same results. So let's now look at the binary version of the highest possible value for a regular char. Now in decimal that is, the highest value is 127. So that's what I'm going to assign to my char variable c and run the program. And my program shows me that in binary 127 is a zero followed by seven ones. Okay, so 128 is obviously one bigger than the highest value of a char. Run it again, let's see what happens. So now I've assigned 128 to the char variable and in binary I get one followed by seven zeros. And the decimal value is now minus 128. Now let's try 129 and again run it and this is now what I see. So the binary is one, six zeros and a one and the decimal is not the value I entered which was 129, it's been changed to minus 127. This is exactly what I showed in an earlier lesson but in that lesson I didn't look at the binary version of the numbers. Let's think about what the binary tells us. Before I get to that, we need to take a closer look at what a binary number actually is. In my program, I'm using a char, a single character, which is an 8-bit data type. That is, a char takes up one byte of computer memory. One byte contains 8 bits. A bit is something that can store a simple on or off value. That is, one for on or zero for off. Each of the digits in this binary number represents the value of a single bit. The lowest non-negative value is zero, which in binary is represented by eight zeros. That is, each of the eight bits in the byte is zero. The highest value of an eight-bit data type, such as a char, is 127. In binary, that's zero followed by seven ones. The lowest value is minus 128, which is one followed by seven zeros. Now here's the big secret. Even though there are eight bits representing the value of this char, only the last seven of them represent a positive number. The first bit, this one right at the start of the binary number, indicates the sign, plus or minus, negative or positive. If this bit is zero, then the value of the entire number represented by all eight bits, that is the entire byte, is positive. If this bit is one, then the value of the entire number is negative. 
In fact, when it's won for a signed 8-bit data type, such as a char, this leftmost bit represents the lowest number of that data type's range. For a char, that's minus 128. I'll explain signed and unsigned numbers in more detail in another video later on. A signed number is one that can have both positive and negative values. An unsigned number is one that can only ever have a positive value. It's impossible with just eight digits to represent values greater than 127 for a char. Or to be precise, it's impossible to do that for a signed char, which is the standard char data type in C. When I try to do so, the computer is forced to do some sleight of hand, a trick to get around the impossible problem that I've given it. Since it can't go any higher than 127, it goes back to the lowest possible number for this data type, which is minus 128. It does that by setting the leftmost bit to 1. Recall that when that bit is 0, the number's positive, and when it's 1, the number's negative. Exceeding the highest value of a data type, as I've tried to do here, can result in bugs, because I'm expecting this character to have a value of positive 128, but actually it has the value of negative 128. So that explains the nature of the problem, why very big positive numbers can sometimes become negative. Bear in mind that the different data types have different ranges of values. An 8-bit data type such as a char has this range of values. But other data types, which represent bigger numbers, take up more than one byte of memory. A 16-bit data type takes up two bytes and can have this range. A 32-bit data type takes four bytes and can have this range. But the same possible problem can occur with all those data types. Try to set a value that exceeds the top of its range, and you may end up accidentally switching it to a negative value. And then there's one other complication that I've mentioned a few times already. Remember I said that the first byte of a signed data type determines whether the value is positive or negative, whereas for unsigned data types, that bit, in effect, adds on a positive value to the value of the entire byte. That means that an unsigned data type can represent much bigger positive values than a signed data type. So, for example, a standard char, which is signed, has a range from minus 128 to plus 127, but an unsigned char has a range from 0 to 255. You can see a similar effect with other data types, such as int and unsigned int. The unsigned data type has no negative values, but a bigger range of positive values. And that's all due to the fact that the bit here at the left sets the sign plus or minus with signed data types, but it's used to represent a bigger positive number with an unsigned data type. This special bit, the one at the left of the binary number, is sometimes called the most significant bit. Its special significance is that it has the biggest effect of any bit in the entire byte. In an unsigned number, this bit represents the biggest part of the entire number. But what does that mean, the biggest part? Well, you see, each bit represents a specific numeric value. To arrive at the value of the number represented by the entire byte, you would, in effect, need to add together the values represented by each separate bit. To understand how that works, you need to know what all these ones and zeros actually mean. Why is this binary number equal to 50? Whereas this one is 79. I'll explain that in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos.